Hey, welcome back. This morning on Core Explorers, animals are getting in on the holiday fun, and we're not talking about the zoo. The Piddock Mansion has been transformed into a Christmas wonderland for their annual celebration, and that is where we find Core Harlan this morning. He's live to show us this year's theme, Critters Make Merry. Hey, Core. Critters make merry, Emily. Good, here, we're upstairs now in the Piddock Mansion. We kind of showed you the basement. And again, this is uh, the Piddock Mansion. It is part of uh, Portland's history, of one of the Portland's founding families. But every year they re kind of retheme a lot of these rooms. And this year it is Critters Make Merry, and that entails a lot of critters, fictional critters. Showed you some Jungle Book critters. We're in one of the rooms now with owls as the main critter up in the uh, Christmas tree. You can kind of see a little white spotted uh, white, white owls up in the room and they're really nicely done. They get uh, uh, a lot of designers in here. John Miller is the interim executive director here and I want to save the save this for last because I really think this is going to resonate with a lot of kids. We're going to go Great. into from off of one of these bedrooms into the bathroom of what uh, would have been one of the uh, one of the Pittock uh, daughters. I want to stop you here for just a minute because you know what? You can tell that there's a man that designed this house because there's two, we're in the bathroom here, right? So there's, here's the start of the Dalmatian decoration here. But what I want to point out to you, the commode is right here, right? Okay, so every man would stand up here and in two bathrooms up on this second floor, look at the view out there, Carl. Can you step over my shoulder? Look at the view out there, all right? That's the view from in front of the toilet here. That might also account for the reason why there were marble floors here because uh, a lot of people are paying attention to the sunrise every morning and the view of downtown Portland here when they should have been attending to business here in front of the toilet. Anyway, that's a long story short, but there's two bathrooms up here that do that, both of them up there. So you can tell Henry Pittock, uh, he was a man's man, I guess. Into one of the bedrooms we come in here, John, and this, you say the, the children really like this because yep. it's 101 Dalmatians. That's right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So uh, each year we come up with the theme, Critters Make Merry, and then we just let the uh, decorators go to town. And, and this particular one uh, really went to town with, mm -hmm. I think there's over 101 Dalmatians in here. This, is, this would have been one of the, uh, one of the daughters, Pittock daughters or nieces right. perhaps, bedroom out here. Again, uh, that's uh, Carl's kind of showing you some of the 101 Dalmatians decorations that have gone into this room. And then this would have been uh, Georgiana Pittock's orphaned niece, Helen and Louise right here, yep. uh, and the pictures of them. So this would have been their sleeping area, their bedroom up here, and again, uh, the, the themes even go into the bedding. They got, uh, Carl just showed you the, uh, the uh, 101 Dalmatians comforter and the pillows on the bed there in addition to the dogs. And these two right behind you, Carl, here, swinging around here. Two big, cute <laughs> Dalmatians, even with big eyelashes on this Dalmatian here in sort of the sitting room here. And again, check out the view of the sun coming up there through the window out of this bedroom. This is just a magnificent old house. Uh, it is just, uh, it's just phenomenal. And it really does, John, tell um, a lot about Portland's history as much as anything else, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, Henry Pittock was the, the owner of the Oregonian, um, also did a lot of other um, things, really one of the founding uh, fathers of Portland and yeah. built this house in 1914. Fortunately, he died in 1917, yeah. but for those few years, they, uh, he raised uh, a family of nine family members all lived here, and, and a lot of names um, within this household, Gantenbein, Failing, and so forth. So yeah. there's, uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's really all about Portland history here. A lot here. of history. Yeah. Take Carl over there to the sleeping porch, and I'm going to go get my phone here because my uh, earpiece is kind of cut out there, but the sleeping porches... Uh, were sort of a signal of uh, health of the back in the day there before antibiotics were around. Uh, That's right. It was sort of commonly thought that uh, these sleeping porches, where you could open the open the windows, get a lot of fresh air in here, were the places to sleep to stay healthy. And of course, people had to deal with tuberculosis back then as well, That's and a lot right. of other things. So yep. these sleeping porches are also pretty prominent up here on the second floor. Yes. Critters make merry is the name of the theme this year. 17 of the rooms here at the Piddock Mansion have each been designed by somebody with a certain flair. In this case, again, it's uh, 101 Dalmatians, even kind of the Corella DeVille thing right here. I don't want to touch it, but uh, the face mask, the red, <laughs> yep. and the black, the white there hair, she there is. the red face mask. Absolutely. 101 Dalmatians, a lot of other things here. Yep. Uh, if you're interested in coming up here, they are uh, tickets are sold in advance, right? That's right, so in get, advance. Get your stuff yep. early. 
Uh, go to, uh, you can also go to... Um, PiddickMansion.org. PiddickMansion.org. Yep, or Coin.com for a link to tickets here. Great. Uh, because during the week, it's a little less crowded than it is on the weekends. But That's it's just right. such a beautiful display yeah. here, John. Thanks for having us yeah, up here you this bet. morning from My Piddick pleasure. Mansion. Where the critters are making merry. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cora. That is very cool to see how each room has its it. own different little theme, you know, lots yeah. of fun stuff to check out. And honestly, I would say the view from the grounds of Piddick Mansion mm -hmm. is just as great as everything inside.